Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Eddie Gualtese and I am the founder and owner of Royal Love Co. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my 16 ounce birthday cake handle. All the material, all the steps that you need to know to make this beautiful and um, this amazing candle. So if you like this kind of video, keep watching, subscribe to my channel, leave your comment and your like and follow me in this journey. So um, now we are going to make this amazing candle. So this is the supplies or the material that, you, that you're gonna need to do my 16 ounces birthday cake candle. You need this big, you know, a container like this one. This holds up to 17 ounces, I think, but we're gonna use it just for 16 ounces. You need a, a pound of wax, or but for me, I do the whole pound plus I do 1.28 ounces of fragrance. That that is 8%. So you're gonna need the scale, the picture. The fragrance, this is cake from Candle Science. You're gonna need some napkin. I use my Presto pot to melt the wax. I use some alcohol. You need the sprinkle, of course. This one, I buy this one at Walmart. This one are the rainbow one. And you're gonna need, if you wanna decorate the top, I use this sprinkle that I buy on Amazon. This one is dark pink, and this one are color gold. I do this one to decorate the top of the frosting. You're gonna need this um, glue called Mod Podgy. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> you can buy this anywhere, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere. You're gonna need like a sponge like this. And you need, I use this one, a heat gun to measure the heat of the pitcher. I'll let, I'll let you why later. A sharpie, a ruler, small container to measure the, the wax, this big spoon, the, this spatula with half a thermometer. If you don't have this spatula, I bought this one in Amazon, it's the best. You can use a regular big thermometer to measure the heat of the wax. I'm gonna do this one. And a, here, here in the bottom, you see here, this is the, <laughs> I don't know, uh, glue gun. That's all the material that you're gonna need to do my 16 ounce birthday cake candle. And I don't know why, every time I say the supply, to, to say <laughs> all the material or the supply that I use, I always forget the week. Like, you're gonna see all my videos. I don't know why I always forget the week. You need three weeks, these are, CD6, <laughs> no, sorry, CDA. Three wheels CDA, and my wax that I use is a mix of soy coconut. I don't know why I always forget to say the wax name and the wig that I use. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, the first thing, the first uh, step that you're gonna do is spray some alcohol inside the container and outside to clean the container. You guys can, you guys, you see my other video, the Spanish one or the English one. You, yeah, I always forget to say that you need week, the week. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. I like to clean it because, you know, they always come dirty from the factory. Now, we're gonna add, we're gonna put the three CDA week. How about this one? from Canda Science, but there is a supplier here where I live, they, they, or they, they, I saw that they are carrying them now, so I'm gonna buy that from them. You put the three with, you're gonna make like a triangle inside of the container. Yeah, I don't know why, I always forget to say you need the wig. You make like a triangle inside. I don't really know how to do it, but some people, you know, 
need some help do I, how i do it i just like to make sure like a, a, when i start you measure one um inch from the side to the inside and then go in a triangle in you in your head and you you want to put a triangle in the, at the bottom you can do it too that way you are more precise but i like to you know i already know where i, I where i like to put it so I don't need them. So now we're gonna turn the container to the side because we wanna do the mark that we need with the sharpie and the ruler. And from the bottom up, you're gonna mark two inches. You are, you're gonna mark, you're gonna um, measure from the bottom to the to up two inches, and then you're gonna do a mark right here. And just go around the container, mark, you know. Do a mark again is two inches. Okay, just not, not have to be perfect, but okay, yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's good. So, I want to show you now my mark is almost done. You see that? You see? I don't know, let me see if you can see the little mark that I did. I don't know. So, yeah, two inches from the bottom up, you do a little mark. Now you want to twist. Twist the wick. That I always forget to say that I need three. <laughs> oh my God, it's crazy. Okay, you. Twist it, and now you're gonna with your um, glue. This one you're gonna use this one. Let me show you again. And your foam. I don't know how to say this. You can buy this one um, any any dollar store. Um, you're gonna put. You're gonna start adding the glue at the bottom. Of the container, I'm gonna go around the most that you can at the bottom. Try not to put glue in the base of the wick. I'll show you what I mean. See, I have a little bit glue in this one, but don't try, don't just go like that around the, the base of the wick, the metal part. That way, they're, they don't, they're, they, the spring don't get to die. And now you're gonna go put some glue from the bottom up. You go around, let me show you here. The bottom up, you guys can see me? You're gonna pull glue from the bottom up. Bottom up, bottom up. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm saying like that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go around. All the way around until you get to where you start. The beginning. Oh, I don't have no more glue. Yes, I do. Okay, see, you're going around, and now we're gonna go and make a perfect line around the container. Put some more glue on it, and from the inside, you put the sponge in the inside. You're gonna start in this mark and then you're gonna go around. Let me go again. You go around, you know, from one, from one um, mark to the other one. You're gonna go around and make a line. Doesn't matter if it's not that perfect, you can go a little bit higher, like I'm doing right now, but. 
you go around, you just that's it. You went over, you just clean it. Hold on. I make this a thousand times and now I'm just okay. That's okay. You see? You go around, it looked kind of okay. I make it better before, I made it better before, but yeah. I'm kinda of tired today. And now you're gonna put a little bit more glue. Again from the bottom up until the line that you made. That's how it was supposed to look. And now you're gonna add the sprinkle. This sprinkle, I buy this one at Walmart. This from the rainbow. Called the rainbow sprinkle. Let me try not to spill. Okay. And you like to add the whole thing. You just go around and I like to wait like a minute. You know. Okay, it's been a minute. Now you're gonna empty it. You know, the rest of the. Where are they going? Sprinkle. And if you have a sprinkle in the week, I use, you know, uh, this. To from clean, how do you say this? <laughs> so tired. <laughs> ah! I just take it out. I don't like to use my 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 finger because they get sticky. Okay. And now you're gonna you see one of the. This one has some sprinkle in the in the bottom of the wig, so I like to take that out. Just remove all of them. Then empty it. And that's it, we have the first part done. You see how nice it looks. Now you're gonna let it dry. I let it dry for an hour, for a day, but you can let it dry, you know, um, a few hours. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. I mean the fragrance oil with the wax. Oh my god, what I'm doing. And then now for the base of the 16 ounces, we are only gonna pour 10 ounces of wax for the base. With those 10 ounces of wax, it's gonna cover the whole, the, all the sprinkle. Oh, okay. I have a little bit left. I can pour a little bit more. Okay, okay. You see, 10 ounces, it would cover the whole thing. Now we're gonna wait to this to get hard. Let's just put the, um, 
this stick have hole to hold the wig. For the frosting, you are only, only going to need 6 ounces of wax. Oh, I will show you that in later. Let's wait for this one to get hard. So we're back. We have the 16 ounce candle. It's already, you know, the base is already hard. You guys can see um, how it look around. It's beautiful. So now we're going to mix the wax and the fragrance to do the frosting. Remember, this is a 16 ounce candle, but we use 10 ounces for the base and we're going to use 6 ounces for the frosting on top of this candle. So So I already um, mixed the fragrance with the wax and now I'm gonna you know, um, mix it up for like two minutes and then I'm gonna take this container, take the picture in front of the AC. I put the picture in front of the AC that way it cool down the wax faster because I have to wait for the wax to, get, to start getting hard and then with this spatula I have to like mix it by hand for a very 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 long time this is the longest step for this candle is to make the frosting and it takes forever <laughs> it really do take forever that's why I like to you know um, speed the process when we're putting the picture in front of the AC It look a little bit hard, um, but this because I went to the AC. You guys, you guys saw me in front of the AC, um, the air conditioner. That way, it cooled down faster. But I have to keep stirring the wax with my spatula. That way, it look like frosting. I want the, that effect on the wax. So. 
and heat and need to you know keep um mixing it up mixing it up until it get where i want it and of course it smell amazing the fragrance won't go away it stay there and you guys are gonna you guys are gonna see the the the, the result it, it turned out beautiful so just keep watching guys and i'm gonna go back to the in front of the ac to speed up the process you guys see my hand i just put glove i'm wearing gloves because this is the this step is the messy step um in which you have to mix it up wipe whipping the wax by hand and you know some of the wax can come out so you don't want wax in your hand so yeah you have to you know mix it up like this by hand and it is kind of it is a long long process this one is the longest process so i'm not going to record the whole thing but i just want to show you guys how everything is turned out and yeah it is a really hard work but it turns out beautiful this candle is turned out amazing you guys can see it's almost done, but um, I need a little bit more. I mean, it, it needs to be a little bit more thicker. So, and I will recommend to add like a little bit more wax when you're doing this because you can see it go everywhere. So you may lose a little bit of wax. Um, like I said, you're gonna do the 10 ounces. You instead of 10, you can use like maybe 12 or 13 ounces and go from there you know but yeah it just means that I'm kind of messy <laughs> but, but. so we already <coughs> already after I don't know how it's been doing I've, I've been doing this almost an hour this is the consistency that I really like it you can see it is creamy it won't run a lot see it will stay there oh hold on ah. <laughs> Okay, let me do that again. You see, it won't fall, it will stay there. So that is what I like. And it looks so creamy, it's like a frosting, like really, like an edible. Well, it's not edible. <laughs> so, but it smells amazing, you guys. So now we're gonna transfer this to the pipe, piping bag? Piping bag, I think that's the name of it. So, let's do this. zero and we're gonna go first around the week like I like to go around the week first and then all around the container and now we're gonna tap it down that way they don't have no air bubble around the week So you have to tap it down, okay, put it back in the scale, and then go again, do it one more time, go around the wig, 
and then around the the container tap it down again now we don't have air bubbles like you see here there's one there we don't want that it's gone and now we do it again this time I'm going to do the design for um, the third time I do the design we will go like this like a little flower I want to try to another another um, tip but for now I do this one go around I think the other one it would be more prettier. The other tip that, that I one that I use for the for the soap bowl is I use it for the soap, so I don't want to mix, you know, um, supplies. And I don't want to mix that one with candles, so they're separate. So I will have to buy another one. And now I want to tap it down again. No, this time just a little bit, not too much, because I want the design to stay. And I think that's it. I will have a little bit left of um, some time of wax, but look at that. Oh, now we're gonna <laughs> put some sprinkle on it. I go around. And remember, I always like to place them. Um, not too close to the wick but is there some one or two around um, close to the wick that's okay because when the wax start to melt um the sprinkle will go always at the it will be always at the bottom of the of the candle so when it will not burn or anything so that's a good thing about <clears throat> the that's a good thing about the um the sprinkle is they always go to be at the bottom of the candle when the wax start melting so now we're gonna put the this um pink um sprinkle the bigger one just to decorate around the candle in any place you want you know I like to do it this way but School, you are the artist, you can do however you want. I'm gonna put one in the middle and then we go with the goal. I put the goal in between the, the pink one. Okay, and we are done with our 16 ounce candle, birthday candle. Look at this, how beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it, so I'm going to, this is English version, English. <laughs> so now we're going to wait for the wax to get hard. We're going to cut the wig and put the, the label and I will show you guys the end soon. I mean, next. <laughs> so we're back um, with the 16 ounce um, Real Love K candle. <laughs> uh, we're going to cut the wig, clean the outside and put the label, so let's do that. This candle is so beautiful, smell amazing, you're gonna love this candle for sure. Everything that I do, um, I have to pass a lot of um, tests and this one for sure did. Um, so now let's go and clean the outside. Where's my labels? Oh, it's over there. Uh, okay, let's take, let's try to erase the mark. Yeah, it's out already and now we're gonna put the label now we're gonna place the label in just look for one same center let me see which one okay like this one better okay and now we're gonna see kind of eyeballing i like to put this the, the 
I like to put the center first and then go to the sides. That way they don't have air bubble. They label me. Beautiful. Yeah. This is my um, pop score. You need to put a warning label. I have a warning label there, but what is for now? You're just gonna look like this. So this is my 16 ounce birthday cake candle. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoy it. You learn something. Try this in your house. Let me know how it turns out. If you want a portion of this candle, go to www.royallawco5.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your thumbs up, leave your comment, and share this video and help me to grow. Um, so um, follow me in all my social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, um, TikTok, at Real Love Co. Yeah. It smells amazing. It smells so, so good. So I hope you, like, you, like, you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm. I can eat you. But I won't because you're not edible. <laughs> it smells amazing. I'm proud of myself.